Hi, I'm Jay Blevins. And I'm Jasmine St. John, and we're systems therapists from Madison, Wisconsin. And, you know, we're approaching the holidays. Yes, we are. Which can be a really rough time for a lot Super of people. Super stressful. And so we thought we would just talk a little bit about some tips to use um, as you're going through the holidays. And for a lot of people, that means going back to say their family, visit family, getting back into old systems and uh, having issues related to that come up. So we thought we'd talk a little bit about that today. Yeah, I think that oftentimes what happens is people go back into their family environment and they resort back to family patterns that perhaps they are not accustomed to throughout the year, but then all of a sudden they find themselves embroiled in all sorts of family patterns. Absolutely. And we're sort of looking at what exactly do you do if you're triggered by your family patterns? I think one of the first things to do is, and, and I would guess that most most of us felt this when you returned back to your family you felt like you were a kid again you yes. were interacting with your siblings differently than you do maybe when you just are with them alone you maybe act like adults when there's the two of you or three of you out alone but when you get back with mom and dad or aunts and uncles you're acting like little kids again so recognize that those patterns in the family take hold that's step number one is just acknowledge that that's what's happening absolutely and then what we would ask you is that you oftentimes people want to make big huge gestures during holiday season they they want to figure something out and they want to do a pattern so differently and we would ask you not to make any big huge decisions about anything during the holidays there's so much stress there's so much stuff going on we just ask you to try to keep it as simple and calm as possible and I think that uh, is true with your family. You may want to try things differently with your family, like if there's ways that things happen in your family that you feel bad when it happens or it doesn't make you, doesn't make you feel good about yourself. Right. It doesn't mean excluding boundaries. Right. It means you can try and make changes with that. But I think what you're talking about is what we often advise, say, couples that go home and they're maybe having relationship issues and they make big decisions about their relationship while they're back there. And one of the persons suddenly back in the role of being a teenager yes. and you're making decisions from that place instead of from a place of being a well-balanced adult in your own normal system. Yeah, and then finally what we'd ask is that you just give yourself a lot of space and downtime. Any moment that you can sort of steal away and get yourself back centered um, and just come back to yourself and who you are and don't don't necessarily need to take on all the pressure of everything that's going on. You can just slip away for a couple of moments, get a breather, and then come back in. Yeah, I think that's important. A lot of people, they're afraid. They can't, oh, I can't leave. My family will be upset. Your job's to take care of yourself. And in fact, you know, you can do it, do it in ways that might upset them a little, but you do have to take care of yourself and make sure that nothing worse happens. Um, and then I think the last piece is kind of bookend that, uh, with things to take care of yourself. Right. Think about it before you go, do something nice for yourself, be good to yourself, and the same thing when you get back. Take time for you, relax, decompress. Kinda. Yeah, you're gonna be emotionally exhausted from it, there's no doubt about it. So if you can just take a, a good day afterwards and just allow yourself that breathing room, that space to just decompress, we highly recommend it. And it's not with every family. Some people love their family, have great sure. interactions, they come back re-energized. And that's fantastic if that's you, uh, but for many people it's not. Right. So um, those that need that little extra care around the holidays, take it for yourself and make sure that they are a fun, happy time. Thanks so much, and if you have questions or comments, feel free to email us at 2therapisttalking at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.